Hello, my beloved kings and queens. My name is Joyce McTeer, and I am the owner and operator of LaJoycha Creation Designs. I'm coming to you all today with a how to make video. These uh, earrings are going to be button abstract earrings. Here are the items that you will need for this here um, DIY. Okay, you're going to need some wire cutters, an assortment of buttons, some round nose pliers, uh, 20 gauge wire and your 20 gauge wire have to be at least 24 inches long. You're going to need two uh, wood beads. Now this size that I'm using here is a six millimeter wood bead. You can use six, eight, 10, 12. Okay. Uh, you also want to need some seed beads. So we're going to go ahead and get right on to the, into this here video. So basically you want to start off by taking one of your big buttons and putting that on first so we're going to put this on first and then what we're going to do is we're going to start counting so this is number one and we're going to count to 30 so like i said you can you can put these on any pos any way you want to so i'm gonna do one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and they don't have to go on in any color. You can put them on however you want to. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and this last one is 30. Okay, so basically you want to bring them up like this. Okay, and you want to bring your two ends together just like this, all right? This is pretty much what your earring is going to look like. And you wanna wrap your shorter part. So you basically really wanna come down. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the next thing you wanna do is once you get your beads on, my hands are a little, once you get them on, you wanna come down a little bit on your wire probably try to come down about three inches three and a half inches of your wire and you want to bring these two together just like this no fancy way okay and you want to try to twist these two together okay so you bring them together and you want to try to twist them you want to take the shorter part, the shorter part that you have, and just start twisting it. Amen. Bring them down like this. Push it down. And then you want to try to twist it just like that, okay? Now you have a lot of wire, so just continue to twist it a couple of times just like that, okay? And this is pretty much what your earring is going to look like. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna take this long piece right here and you're gonna start weaving it through your buttons. So you wanna take your long piece and go from the back to the front 
and just start weaving it like, just like this. Okay, weaving it. Then you wanna take this piece I'm going to take it in, bring it all the way around, just like that. Okay, these are abstract button earrings, y'all. So it's not going to be perfect because it's abstract, okay? Taking it through there, and okay, you want to take it through again. And you can do this with any color of um, buttons that you have. Don't even worry about this piece right here. Just continue to weave it. Weave it in. Just like that. Okay. And you're going to take it and you're going to do this a couple times through your uh, buttons. Bring that piece up like that. And then you want to bring it back over here again. Just like this. And then you want to come back on this side again. So you're going to come back over here and you're going to start weaving it again for a second time. Taking it through. Pulling this through. And this is all you do. Okay, take it through, pull it through, take it through from the back, pull it through, take it through, pull it through. Okay, and this is pretty much how your earring is going to be coming out. You want to take it to the back, pull it through. Then you're going to come over on this side and do it again. Take it to the back, pull it through. Take it to the back and pull it through. Okay. Pull it through. Take it to the back, pull it through. Take it to the back pull it through and then you're going to have a little bit left over and this is pretty much how your earring is going to be looking i'm going to move this out of the way so you all can see okay so this is what we have so now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come up to the top where you have your long piece and then you're just going to start wrapping this around the long piece that you have just like this. Okay. All right. Bring that up. I'm going to continue to wrap. Just like this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to snip this piece off. So I'm gonna snip this off with my wire cutters. Just like that. I'm going to squeeze this in. And then I'm gonna take my bead I have and slide this right on there like this okay I am going to make a I need a little wait a minute y'all okay so I'm gonna add a little seed bead on there so I won't have a hard time trying to get this to do what I needed to do and then I'm just going to make a loop at the top bring this around and wrap it around my earring now just like I said you don't want these to be too heavy because buttons if you use a lot of them they could be really really heavy 
and you don't want it to be heavy on your ear. So that's why I said I only use 30 and I'm gonna snip off this extra right here. Okay. And here you have, and then we're gonna take our fish hook and slide that on and close it up. And then you have yourself a really cute pair of button earrings. And just like I said, make sure that you don't um, add too many buttons because you don't want them to be too heavy for your ear, okay? And you can add as much wire as you want, but don't forget that you already have, um, you got the buttons on here, okay? So with that being said, I wanna take this time to say thank you all for watching. If this is your very first time here on this platform, please subscribe uh, by hitting the all bell button that is on the side. I wanna thank uh, my new subscribers, and I also wanna thank my super supporters. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful and awesome day. And until the next one, my beloved kings and queens, peace and blessings. See ya.